Hello, hi, yeah, this is Matthew, back again, quickly. I'm going to talk about how I kind of got persuaded, kind of fell in love with starting uh, a diet of loads of fruit. And, uh, yeah, because, uh, just explain my reasoning behind, reasoning behind it. Behind it. Because, yeah, I had it for about four months this summer, and actually I made me, probably deteriorated me, actually, uh, it wasn't quite great, I wasn't, didn't do the right things in hindsight actually looking back at it. Yeah, basically I kind of started it, I had a, um, basically, I had a bit of honey as well, that didn't really help me at all at the time. A lot of fruit and kind of, it was kind of a slow kind of dulling of, of worsening my symptoms. Uh, so I kind of changed the diet and tried to really make a big effort to get loads of fruit into me to improve myself, but it kind of did the opposite, unfortunately. And basically, I just want to talk about, um, yeah, talk about why I kind of chose fruitarianism. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of, of obviously a lot of videos on YouTube and uh, nothing specific for Corins, although there was a few for Corins saying they had loads of fruit and that they were fine, but uh, yeah, basically uh, like Durinder. Jur which uh, I, I'm calling out to you, uh, kind of, you know, he's got a lot of, a lot of uh, he's very persuasive, and I will use the word hype, he's, uh, he kind of gets very kind of emotional, which is good, and what he promotes is great stuff, I mean, cycling, I love cycling as well, so yeah, and also the fruit, you know, I mean, come on, you can't compare french fries and fruit, like, fruit wins every day, you know, so, um, yeah, he's, I like a lot, I'm loving what you're doing out there, mate, but what I'd like to say is, like, jam, you know, J-A-M, the how you spell it, my particular, the word I'm not, 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 not eating jam, jam, I'm saying relax, mate, you know, because, oh, just, uh, jam, lol, lol, you know, not too seriously, but, like, honestly, like, you kind of, I kind of, you're kind of the, probably the main person who uh, persuaded me to kind of go into it because you do say you had Crohn's as well, which I'd like to, you to maybe to make a video about, you know, kind of go in more detail because there's going to be a lot of people maybe with some certain digestive problems who are going to be watching your videos and thinking maybe this is actually good for me, you know, so uh, yeah, uh, you say, the problem is I think maybe, maybe I don't know, I kind of, you did persuade me to start the whole fruit diet and uh, I didn't quite understand uh, how to kind of start it and maybe I'd actually call out if you could maybe just talk how you start it, what signs you should look at, if it's, if it's good for you, because for me, it's not good for me, although at least at this time in my disease, it's not good for me at the moment, or maybe I rushed in too quick, but I think at the moment I can't do it, or maybe I'm just fructose intolerant, which you can maybe also talk about during that, um, or something, because people are fruit, uh, uh, with Crohn's have fructose intolerance, so you've got to be careful, even though fruit seems like a good thing, and it's got loads of beneficial fibres which kind of soothe the gut, etc, a lot of vitamins, and, uh, you know, it, it can actually cause some bad effects, because if you're going to have intolerances to the, the fructose, molecules inside it's not going to be any good is it like uh, so just bear that in mind and I'd like to just say also just generally say out you know when you're kind of making a decision on your diet be open-minded be think about the bigger picture be holistic holistic is to take everything into consideration you know I look at the bigger picture yeah so what I'm saying is don't just think through I try a few diets maybe for a few days look at the gas I had another video uh, be in tune, uh, do you have gas, bloating, do you feel good, you know, but mainly gas, I, in my opinion, yeah, is there pain, for instance, look at those signs, but yeah, fruitarianism maybe isn't the only diet, as Durinder hypes up, so just almost saying as if there's nothing else in the world, just his fruit diet, like, his 30 bananas a day, which is, I'm saying is good compared to most diets, but may not be for everybody, it can't, Every diet isn't for everyone. Everyone is different. Of course, you got to trust the fact that everyone's going to have disease slightly differently. It's, you know, it's, it's going to have it's going to be a different time in the disease. It's going to have taken different medication to have got to where they ha are now. You know, you just have to look at this. And um, I didn't quite 
I wasn't quite aware of this at the time, and it's I went backwards, and and with health, no one wants this. So I just um, yeah, just look at people. Are they are they saying are they do are they explaining both sides of the pictures equally? Are they biased? Are they being are they being forceful? You know, just these are these are things you have to look at, and uh, you don't just go into something and think it's. Because I, before I was going into it, I was just thinking there's only one outcome. It's going to get better. But it didn't get worse. I didn't plan for this in my summer, I tell you now. Um, and I, I was in a bad state. It really did get me. I was so weak and I felt awful. And pain, I just don't really want to talk about it. But in the end, there was so much pain. I had to stop. And I went off a few days, went back on. Definitely was the fruit, 100%. Uh, now back, back off it getting better slowly, I'm really happy, fantastic, still not, still not where I wanna, where I wanna be, but I'm getting there, uh, but yeah, compared to other diets, for instance, like other diets aren't bad, like, you know, for instance, carbing up, oh, during the, during this, like, carb up, man, carb up, man, like, uh, you don't carb up, like, where's my energy, like, because your body's, like, adapted to carbs, for instance, for yourself, and you feel good in it, and it's, yeah, great for you, but other people can maybe they can get into a ketogenic diet where there's zero carbs near enough their body can adapt it's not a overnight thing which I'm currently trying to do I'm trying to get into and I'm thinking this could be quite quite good for me this I'm thinking seriously could be quite good for me I'm feeling like there's no gas there's no pain with this keto diet but it does take adaptation most people are naturally used to carbs in the society we live in but ketogenic diet, for instance, do you know cancer? There's no cure, medical cure for cancer as such, apart from chemotherapy, like no natural cure, supposedly. But actually, have you know if you do type in ketogenic diet for Crohn, for Crohn, for cancer, for a serious a disease a condition as cancer, ketogenic can and diet is is shown. People have survived going on to this diet because, have you know, cancer molecules, cells, do require sugars to survive. Therefore, if you have a ketogenic diet with zero carbs, zero sugars, then the cancer can't survive, proliferate, you know? So just think about it. So, it's not as simple as a oh, carb up. You know, maybe other diets where there's no carbs, for instance. Well, your body may adapt to it, but then try this, try that, maybe try a bit of both, kind of, have a chat with some people, see what, what your family have tried and how they feel better, because maybe they're similar to yourself, you know, obviously try to look out for your diet, like, what you, what you eat is key to your health, and I've really, really found this, and I'll stress in other videos, talking great depth, but definitely, just look at, try to make yourself better in terms of what you eat, like, and you'll feel better for it. But don't necessarily get swept away with, this, you know, with primal or this, or because it just sounds great. Kind of, maybe just try for a few days and, you know, just get into it slowly. I mean, changing diet isn't an overnight thing, but just be aware that, like, it may not always go out, turn out how you want it to, and just be aware of hype. Just be aware of people being biased. Just try to kind of get for yourself, get, um, just get a effort and put it in the bigger picture. And then you'll find something, and then, fingers crossed, that will be perfect for yourself. Because everyone's different. Crohn's, even people with no Crohn's or IBD, everyone is slightly different, and just no one's the same, no one is the same, so just remember that, and I hope you can get good health, because the hell, I'm going to get it one day, I'm not there now, but I'm going to get it perfect health, and I'm going to get bigger than that, because it's pathetic, you know, but that's not my pr main priority at the moment, my main priority is my blood, I'm going to get there, and uh, I'll prove everyone wrong, who every doctor wrong so yeah just know the hype keep it in tune and just fingers crossed you find your diet peace out bye